What's going on, nation, and welcome to Abs of Glory! That felt great. <laughs> Alright, now I have a workout. Hey, welcome to Abs of Glory, guys. This is an amazing ab routine, which is going to help really rip it and tear those muscle fibers in the abdominal area, okay? We're going to tear a little bit of everything up. We're going to hit the obliques as well. We're going to do four exercises. The sets and reps will vary from exercise to exercise, but the first thing we're going to do is a dumbbell hanging knee raise. So what we're going to do is go to the knee raise machine. If you have them, I want you guys to use these pads and put your arms in. It's going to make this exercise more effective for your abs while using the dumbbell. And what you're going to do is first put your dumbbell up onto the machine like I did. If you have a workout partner, your partner can place the dumbbell into your feet for you. So you're going to lock yourself in just like this. Get it nice and tight, swing over, grab your dumbbell, and what you're gonna do is focus on lifting forward with your knees. <sighs> Breathing out on the way up. <sighs> now in this exercise, you're gonna do three to four sets of 15 to 20 reps. <sighs> Just like that, keep that core nice and tight the whole time. And again, you're lifting the dumbbell in front of your body. <sighs> You're breathing out on the way up. Oh yeah. That's burning. Let's do five more. One. Two. Keep that core nice and tight. As soon as you're done, drop the dumbbell yourself out of here. Now guys, I want you to rest 30 to 60 seconds, okay? I want you to move at a semi-fast pace with this routine. Keep everything nice and tight the whole time. Three or four sets, 15, 20 reps. Let's move to the next exercise. The next exercise you're going to do is going to be a scissor kick, okay? It's a scissor flutter kick. What we're going to do is as many scissor flutter kicks as we can in 30 seconds. Three sets, 30 seconds per set. And what you're going to do is Get yourself up like this. Now with your hands, push yourself back into the pad, and you can lift your legs up and kick. Now I don't have a stopwatch on me, so I'm gonna do a one-one count all the way to 30, okay? So start like this, one leg up, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, core nice and tight the whole time. Seven, eight, nine, ten, breathe, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more, 1, 2, 3, core tight, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Whoo! Now you're going to feel that burn in your hip flexors too, which is right down here. That's normal, okay? Three sets, 30 seconds apiece. The next thing you're gonna do is come over here and you're gonna do twist ups. Now, for this exercise, three to four sets, okay? Five to 10 reps over here. You're gonna go a little slower and you're gonna keep your core tight the whole time. If you don't keep your core tight, you can risk injury doing this exercise. You can do it with some weight or without. I'm gonna use this purple medicine ball. Hold it nice and tight to my chest like this. And what you're going to do is slowly twist on the way down and slowly twist on the way back up. And that's one rep. Five to ten reps. Three to four sets. Touch the bottom. One. Two, core nice and tight the whole time. Three. Four. Now, five to 10 reps, three to four sets. Move on to the next exercise. 
and you're going to do hip thrust crunches. Now, this is an advanced exercise. It's going to hit your lower abs. It's going to really hit your lower back as well. Okay? Three to four sets here as well. Only 10 to 12 reps per set. Make sure you take a 30, 60 second rest in between from the twist ups to here. And you're going to lower yourself to the ground. Now, I'm just using this machine to lock my feet in place. Now, the way you do a hip thrust crunch is you keep your back flat on the ground, hands up like this. You can put them here or here. You're going to roll up like that. And you're going to swing back, touch your shoulders to the ground, have an arch in your back, come back up, and then roll back down so your lower back hits first, and then your shoulders. And that's one rep, okay? Let's keep it going. Two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.